going on guys? My name's CJ. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change out your manual thermostat to a Wi-Fi smart connected thermostat. In this case, a Google Nest thermostat. Essentially, I received this for free. I wouldn't actually go and purchase this because I really don't care about you know, the, doing it manual is not a big deal. Some people prefer the Wi-Fi. I used to have it in my old home. We didn't have it here, but now I'm going to install this, show you how to do it. It's very simple. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you how I got this thermostat for free, essentially. Here you can see the cost is $129.99. We live in Georgia, the Georgia Power Electricity Company. They took off $97.49 for a Wi-Fi thermostat rebate. Okay, brings it down to $32.50 plus tax, $51.22. Now by signing up, enrolling in this thermostat temp program, I'm going to receive a $50 virtual prepaid MasterCard, which again, $51.22, that brings it down to $1.22. And then $15 for each year I participate in the program, I'm going to get back as well. I'm paying $1.22 for the first year, and then after that, this thermostat will be free so it's definitely worth to check your electric company most electric companies have a incentive or program for you to go energy efficient with things like this you know insulation anything that is on there light bulbs check your website out you're going to find something on there where you can save money and you know get something for free essentially so let's go ahead and replace this so first things first you need to shut off your thermostat and then we're going to shut it off by the power, the main power, okay? So we're going to shut this off just by flicking it to off. You might hear a sound from the HVAC system. Mine is on the inside right next door to the thermostat. So once you hear it shut completely off, we're going to go ahead and shut off the power itself. Now this is pretty dirty. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum this, not right now, but you definitely want to vacuum the outside and then change your filter every month. Don't do it every three months, do it every month. I keep my filters here and I use very basic filters. You know, they push for buying the crazy advanced filters all the way to the top here as it shows you what it does. All you have to do is do a basic dust and lint filter. You know, maybe if you're in a home where there's smoke or something of the sort and you want to get that out, you want to use a heavier filter, that's fine, but Use basic filters, change it every month, you won't go wrong. Another thing I recommend is getting UV light installed, okay? The UV light shines a bright light at the bottom, and as the air goes, it kills all the bacteria, germs, and everything, especially down the south. It's really good to have a UV lamp. It's not that much money, about 100 bucks. You can get them on Amazon or Home Depot Lowe's. There's others where it'll shoot the light inside the HVAC. This one is just at the bottom itself, and you can't look at it, it will blind your eyes. All right, so now we're going to shut off the thermostat, okay, from the main power source. This is very important, guys. You can't just shut it off from here. You also need to shut it off from here. So let's go ahead and open this up. This is the main breaker for the HVAC system. This I just pulled down. You might have it locked. Mine's not locked. And you're just going to flick this off. It's currently on. Flick it off. Now the power is out, completely out. There is no more power. This will be turning off, it's starting to fade away. There you go, power's completely off. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and remove the thermostat, pull it off the wall just like that, okay? And then you see there's two screws holding the plate, but before that, we need to remove the wires. And to remove the wires, there's little screws in so there. So get yourself a tiny flathead that can fit in here. We're gonna loosen them up. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey, you're just gonna turn it to the left all the way so that you can loosen the wire. So right now I'm working on letter C. Once I loosen it, I'm gonna remove letter C and I'm gonna get my letter C sticker and mark it letter C. Don't be afraid to bend the wires if you need to. So I'm pulling out letter C and if it's tied up like this, then I would just try to get it out of there Squeeze it like that. Now, letter O. It's completely unscrewed when you see the screw is kind of flush with this connector. Pull it out. This is letter O. You could have either O or B 
that's Oscar or Bravo. In this case, there is no Bravo. I have O, so that's why you see O and B. So it could be either one. Okay, so this is letter O. You could take these stickers off once you're done. It's just for labeling it for now. All right, so we have W, whiskey. Okay, now we're looking at R, H, and R, C, which really there's only one in there if you notice. Looks like they have a loop back going for the R's. Okay, Romeo is done. Now we're doing, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do Y because Y is overlapping G. So Yankee, just the way they had this wire, they have it overlapping. Yellow. You know, these are the colors, right? Orange, white, yellow, green. I'm just saying phonetic alphabet. Yankee, Y, yellow. All right, last one is G, golf, green. Okay, so all the wires are now completely labeled. Those two I'm not worried about. I can now take the plate off and unscrew the plate. Give you screws, but they don't give you a fly head or a screwdriver which I'm surprised. Okay, we're going to go ahead and remove this plate. Just like that. And you could paint this, you know, the spots that you need. So, so if you want to order the wall plate cover, you don't have to, but I got it on Amazon. It was 11 bucks. There's a white and a gray color. This is a charcoal nest color. I thought I got white, but I didn't. So it would, you know, go on just like this and it will cover all that up. So you don't have to worry about painting or spackling. You do have to make sure that this goes on first before you install this. So we're going to go ahead and feed the wires through as long as the power is off, which it is. You're not going to get shocked by anything. Just feed your wires right through the hole. All right, and then just have it centered to where you want it. Then you're going to get your thermostat, put the wires through the hole again. Line it up with the holes should be level. If it's not, it's not that serious, but it should be level. You can drill a hole ahead of time. You can use anchors if you want. I'm not going to use anchors, but if you want to use anchors, you can. Drill a hole ahead of time where you can just put the screw directly in the hole. Gonna go ahead and push our wires through. Now you can cut these wires down so that they're not, if they're too long like this, you can cut them down. You would need a wire cutter or you can use, you know, something, a special wire cutter tool, or if you just have wire snips, you can make this smaller, but you're going to have to strip the sheathing off. And if you don't feel comfortable doing that, it's not that serious. You can just tuck it in like that. It's just to make it more aesthetic. You can also use it with Amazon Alexa smart app. All right, look at that, that's beautiful. There's a QR code and there's another little box in here. Take that out. Set up with the Google Home app. These are two rechargeable AAA batteries. We just have to remove that tab. Kind of silly, but you know, it just preserved the, the battery usage. So you gotta remove that put you, before you put it on. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these wires down shorter because they really should be. You can do it with the wires being long, but it's really better to have them short. So find yourself a pair of scissors or, you know, really need wire cutters. That would be more ideal. And remember your labels. I am cutting it shorter, so I'm going to end up cutting the sticker off for each one. So spread them out as far as you can and keep the wire straight and envision where it's going to go into this connector. So it's going to go just about right there, about halfway. That's where I'm going to cut the yellow one. So here's an example. So I just cut that, but now I need to get that sheathing off so that I can push that in. All right, so once you spread your wires long enough, cut them all with the wire cutter evenly, and you're not gonna wanna use the wire cutter to cut the sheathing off. I would recommend using scissors if you don't have proper wire cutting tool. You're not gonna cut deeply, you're gonna cut lightly just to get that sheathing off. All right, guys, once you've trimmed your wires, you took the sheathing off, 
you're basically going to tuck it in a little bit and it should look something like this. You don't have so much slack like we did before. And now we're going to go ahead and slide each copper cable into the connector. You're just going to simply push it in. The little tab's going to go down and it's going to lock in place. So let's start with the first one, which is Y Yankee, or in this case, a yellow cable. Okay, you see all the tab went straight down. You got C Charlie. Even though it's a blue cable, you would think it's B, but all right. Next one on the left is white W whiskey. You don't need to be an electrician to do this. You just need common sense. You're going to shut the electric off. And that's the most important thing is to shut the electric off before you attempt to touch the wires. On the right side, we have green G golf. Then we have red R Romeo. And then we have OB, in this case we have O. All right, so all the wires are in place. It should look similar to this. Again, no hanging or stray wires. All the tabs are pressed down, self-locking, and then you're gonna go ahead and slap on the actual thermostat. Just make sure you have it on right. The G on this is gonna go down to the bottom and then you're just gonna turn it like you're that. You're gonna have to scan this QR code and finish the setup in the Google Home app. These are rechargeable batteries. They charge up from the electricity given to the thermostat. You're not gonna throw these away. You can buy new ones if they ever die out on you. They're rechargeable AAA batteries. Again, with the G facing down, you're gonna go ahead and push it. You can see it says no power, but all you have to do is push it in and it will click into each of the holes here. And you can see that it's level there. Push it hard. And there you go. That wall plate is awesome. I love how it covers up all the stuff in the back, you know, not having the paint, not having to spackle anything. All right, so no power off. That's important. You want to leave it off E298. Don't worry about that. That's because the main power is not on. We did not turn the breaker on yet. We will flick it on right now. Okay. Breaker is on. Go ahead and put this cover back in place. Even though this piping's in the way, it's not a big deal. This just slides up on an angle. Kind of have to push hard. And then that goes onto there. And if you want to put a lock on that, you can. Now you can turn the power on. To turn it on, there's no lever on the right. All you have to do is swipe up or down. And then to touch, to enter, you just tap it with this type of thermostat. Slide down. It says mode off touch it and cool. All right. Just heard it kick on. HVAC system is turning on. Like, subscribe and comment and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.